Ja, ik zit hier in Zoetermeer na een concert van de Medieval Babes backstage. En uh, ja, we hebben wel een paar leuke vragen voor ze, dus uh, we gaan even los. How was your night? Oh, we had a great show here tonight. We love to play in Holland. We were here last year at Castlefest. And tonight was our first club gig with people standing and feeling their energy and putting out some. We enjoyed it a lot. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you sing uh, in a lot of uh, different languages. Isn't that uh, difficult? Yes, but we're very brainy, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> When I joined the band, I learned it all in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, but it, it makes it more special. Yeah, of course. Do you have any plans for uh, some old Dutch uh, songs? Not yet, but if you've got any ideas of yeah. any, any particularly romantic, heartwarming Um, Dutch medieval poems, you know. Yeah, and now uh, I want to talk about your uh, new album, hey. Illumination. What can you tell us about this? Well, we've worked very hard to make it the best Babes album yet. And it contains a variety of styles that maybe we haven't had before. It's got very tender, intimate moments and things that are very upbeat and things that are quite spiky and things that are just plain odd and beautiful for that so hopefully it's the most wide ranging in musical styles and the most accessible to people that maybe haven't heard us before I'm sure Catherine will have something yeah, to add it, to that it's probably, got, it's probably our most contemporary sounding album to date but it still has a lot of that very romantic ethereal flavour that people have always liked about the medieval babes so Hopefully it will, it, will, it will appeal to a wider group of people whilst keeping the fans happy, you know, which is always the aim. But I think, you know, I think this has done that more so than any other album. And uh, you also have a few songs uh, with Faun on your uh, new album. That's right, three songs with them. Yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. Their contribution to the album mm. was really stunning. They've added a lot. We'd yeah. really like to do some shows with them and, and push it forward into the live format with those guys as well. That would be really fun. But yeah. yeah, they told us in the interview that uh, they gave uh, more balls to your heavenly sound. <laughs> But it wasn't even more balls exactly. It was actually just made it more avant-garde. It's more wig out stuff, yeah, it's isn't more, it? It's more sort of they they provided quite a lot of atonal yeah. um, sort of weirdness rather than making it rock out more exactly. Just made it more weird in a really good way. It's well, very, uh, I expected <laughs> them to do something more. Traditional. Mm. But what they did was actually very odd and uh, you know inspired, and fabulous. really inspired, really unpredictable mm. thing. You know, because considering they're using like traditional old instruments, they they use them in a, in a really, a really quite contemporary, fabulous way. You know. What, what's your life's uh, philosophy? My life philosophy is live the dream. There you go. <laughs> Okay, that's very. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go with that one. Are, are you already living? Are you already living the dream? Of course. Although earlier tonight I did have a very strong fantasy that I got to have a little nap before the show, and that I had some little goblins painting my toenails for me so that I didn't have to. Who is the wildest uh. band member? <laughs> can you ex can you explain? I, no, I couldn't possibly. Is it is because of the goblin? Uh... <laughs> yeah, my goblin foot fetish. No, <laughs> that's not even the tip of the iceberg. But we take it in turns to have our wild moments. Where, where you know, <laughs> rabbit's probably the most consistently wild, I'd say. I'm probably quite consistently loud, yeah. but you know, everyone takes their turn <laughs> to be fabulous. Mm. Are you as dangerous as the sirens? Of course we are. <laughs>